Hi, welcome to Y01. I'm Ujjul Jha. We are going to look into the .NET ecosystem. This is .NET Framework, Mono for Xamarin, and .NET Core. .NET Framework is the only for Windows-based application. Mono for Xamarin is used for mobile applications. .NET Core is new way in here, which is cross-platform and performance-oriented, Windows-centric .NET framework. Mono for Xamarin, it is cross-platform. We can build applications for different mobiles all at once. And .NET Core, it is cross-platform, the .NET framework. It is fully featured, using which we can build any type of applications which can run on Windows device. We can make ASP application like form based, MVC, Wave API, etc. We can make WCF Windows Communication Foundation, WPF Windows Presentation Foundation, and many others. It has many library built in. CLR is what makes it to run. I tell you, it is partially open source, which you can access from the URL given above. Advantage It is fully featured, fully developed, still growing. Microsoft support evidence that millions of applications running on it, full grown community support. Yeah, there is few limitations as well. It can only run on Windows system. And we might have to sacrifice with performance so. Then we have Mono for Xamarin. Mono community started to build a system which could run on Linux system. Thereon, it kept on evolving further taken over by Xamarin. Then they started working on it to build cross platform using the C sharp language which could target iOS, OS X and Android. I cannot escape the Windows mobile app as well, which is no more now. Mono for Xamarin is for mobile application. Using this, we can build cross-platform application which could run on iOS, OS X, and yes, Android. It has many class library which makes it easy for developers, which is Xamarin class library and Mono runtime which makes it to run. Advantage: It is cross-platform. It can run on Windows. It can run on Mac. One code base. We can have one code base and using the same code, we can have application for iOS or Android or for others. Existing C sub developer won't have to leave and learn new language. This is the same language which they can leverage it. And another advantage, Mono is open source. So we can contribute. There's a few disadvantages which I can point out. I'm not sure it is the only one. If you think there is anything else, you can comment below. Disadvantage for Mac and iOS will have to rebuild on Mac system, so Mac system is also required. Apart from this, I don't see any negative. You have one more privilege over here. You can make use of Xamarin form based application or native application. It basically released in 2011 and it is fully open source. You can go to mono.project.com to have in depth knowledge about it. This is the dotted core. This is substituting dotted framework. Dotnet framework came in 2002. Since then, it kept on evolving, giving application backward compatibility along with new feature is what made it huge. It caused it to suffer from heavy component and performance SO. Dotnet core is built from scratch and first released in 2016. It is new and fresh version of .NET, which is having only feature which it required by today's technology. It is fast and modular. .NET Core currently supports console application, web applications, and class libraries projects and test project as well. In coming time, it also supports Windows application like Windows Form and few others. I would point you to a web link. Here you can see 
the list of things that is supposed to come in .NET Core 3, which Microsoft have announced few days ago. It will support Windows Form, WPF, QWP. And yes, it is cross-platform, so you can run it on anywhere. It can run on Windows Server, Red Hat, Mac OS, Tizen, and check this link for more updates in future time. It might have few other supports in future time as well. Here is complete graph of .NET ecosystem. As we heard about these things, .NET Framework, .NET Core, Mono for Xamarin, we have .NET Standard Library, which can be used across different platforms. You can call the .NET Standard Library as a class library project, but in here it will be used across different platform. Those code which supports all these platform day by day, it is having more and more feature into it. Common infrastructure like Roslyn, CLR, Core CLR is built tools. C -sarf, F -sarf, VB .NET is language. Garbage collection, JIT is runtime component. So these all are things which makes it to run. Thank you.